I'm a big fan of Christmas movies, but which one takes the crown as the absolute best? Picking a movie is already a tough call, but for me, having to pick a favourite Christmas movie poster takes it to another level. In this video, we'll be creating three movie posters for some iconic Christmas films. And to add a twist and up the challenge, we're setting the clock. I have five minutes to complete the first poster, 30 minutes for the second, and one hour for the grand finale. For the five minute poster, we're going with Home Alone. I'm a big fan of this movie and even made a Home Alone slash Deadpool poster way back. Now five minutes is not a lot of time, it usually takes longer than this just to find one stock image, but that wouldn't be a very interesting video to watch, so I have allowed some prep work and have collected a bunch of assets to use. This one's definitely not going to be easy and I'll have to make sure every second counts. Start the clock in three, two, one, and we're off. Okay, first up I need to create a fireplace that fits the canvas. I've got this one here which I'll just get into position, and I'll use a copy of this layer so it mirrors the position on the other side. Delete what I don't want. And then I'll make a selection and copy this portion here. Stretch that across to cover the stocking. Just quickly erase the edges to create a pretty terrible looking blend. Fill the fireplace with black. The McAllister's fireplace has a fire screen so I'm going to include that. Don't want to waste too much time, just going to adjust the levels. Like that. Throw in some nice Christmassy wallpaper. Just make that a bit darker, and we'll add a nice Christmas wreath above the fire. Ah, time is ticking. We've got a red stocking for Kevin. It's the traditional stockings above the fireplace, but I'll use two old socks to represent our crooks Harry and Marv, with some added extras to represent some of the torture they endure at the hands of Kevin. Just going to adjust the brightness and contrast. Reduce some of the saturation. Harry comes up against a lot of fire related traps, so we're going to introduce some hot glowing embers. I'll just set the layer blending mode to color dodge, and simply mask away the bits I don't want. Let's drop in a bit of smoke, just increase the lightness, and next we'll add a few feathers stuck to the sock. Okay, just deleting the ones I don't need, I don't even have time to light these properly, so that'll have to do. And another smelly old sock for Marv. I believe he has red socks, so just going to change the colour of these. Okay, how are we doing for time? Gotta get a move on. Let's add a tarantula behind the sock, kind of like it's crawling out of the top. And of course, we've got to get the nail in there. Doesn't matter how many times I've seen the movie, that scene always makes me wince. Move that into position. And just mask away this bit, so it kind of looks like it's poking through the sock. And lastly, some nice sticky tar. Just going to clip that to the sock. And I'll just use a nice textured brush to mask some of that away. Okay, clock is ticking. I think I've got time for some quick shadows. Exposure adjustment layer. Quickly paint in some shadows. Yeah, the worst shadows you've ever seen, but okay. Quickly delete the intersections of the fire guard. Wow, that's terrible. Okay. Last piece of the puzzle, I want to get Kevin's name on the stock in. Change the size. Just going to rotate that. Move it over. And scale it up. Oof, okay, done. Wow, this truly is the elevator pitch poster, prioritizing concept over design. There's too many things wrong with it to list, from the lack of shadows to floating socks and janky cutout jobs. But then what can we expect for five minutes? I do like this direction and overall idea though. I wonder what a finished version would look like. Stick around until the end to find out. 30 minutes sounds a lot better than 5 minutes, but I also probably haven't created too many pieces of art in under 30 minutes, whether that's digital painting or photo manipulation, so I'm still expecting this to be a challenge. But here we go, 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Alright, we're doing another classic movie, and for you film buffs out there, I think I'll keep the name of this one a secret just for a little while, and see how long it takes you to guess the correct movie. But don't worry, I won't make you wait until the end. So first up, I'm just getting a simple background in place. We've got a nice Christmassy red for the floor, but I'm just going to change the colour of the background. I'm going to make a selection and extend the floor to meet the bottom of the canvas. Paint some darker shadows, 
And for our first major element, we've got a snow globe, which I'm just going to select and then cut out. And we'll just change the color of the snow and bottom section of the snow globe to blue. Let's keep the wood the original color. And I'm not a big fan of how the top of this snow globe looks, so we're going to replace that. I've got a nice replacement here, just slightly cleaner looking, so I'm going to flip that vertically and get it into position. And just erase these bottom portions. And I've got this nice scattered brush so we can paint in some snowflakes. And this is your first clue, albeit a pretty impossible one, but we've got a layer of smoke. I'll just set the blending mode to screen, reduce the fill percent, and just alter the dimensions. Okay, remove those edges. And now for a big clue, we've got a Christmas tree. But more importantly, a dead Christmas tree, which might be enough for some of you to crack which movie this is. Just cutting that out. And then I'm going to place that inside our snow globe. As well as being dead, I also want the tree to appear burnt, so I'm just going to alter the levels. Something like that. Let's erase this black base. Next up, I've got a bunch of presents to put in there. Just going to find a nice position for each one, scale them down. And like the tree, I also want these presents to look slightly charred and burnt. So I've got this burn paper texture set to linear burn. Okay, how's that timer looking? We are about halfway through, okay. And then I'll create a black solid color fill there to create some vignette. Cool, cool. And I'll use some more solid color fill layers to create some nice soft lighting bouncing off the glass. And one more here. Okay, and for the biggest and final clue, I'm gonna write a name tag on this gold plate here. If you haven't got it by now, you're probably never going to get it. So the movie is, of course, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. One of my favorites. I'm just using some styling effects so that the text looks engraved into the metal. And in reference to a classic scene from the movie, we're going to have this burnt outlet plug up here in the left, making some small color adjustments and some simple lighting tweaks. It wouldn't be a Christmas Vacation poster without some Christmas lights. Just going to create some core disappearing off screen up here in the left. And we'll get those Christmas lights in the foreground. As another little nod to the movie, these won't be switched on. Just going to cut out and have some larger ones slightly closer to the camera. Cool, that'll do. And we'll add some shadows under these lights so they don't look like they're floating so much. Definitely running low on time now, so I need to keep things moving and a shadow cast by the snow globe. Give that some blur and change the blending mode to soft light. Then using a white color fill there set to overlay, I'm gonna paint a few more highlights on and around the glass. Drop in a layer of grain just to give the artwork some overall texture. And lastly, I think I've got just about enough time to add in some shadows, add some to the base, and some shadows for these presents too. Okay, well it's kind of there. Those 30 minutes definitely flew by. I think I was able to achieve a more finished looking piece, but there's still inconsistencies and it's just lacking that overall polish. With more time, it could also do with a few more elements and Easter eggs relating to the movie. Now it's time for some shameless self-promotion. If you're interested in how to create a movie poster, here's a quick trailer for my new Photoshop course. This is not just another Christmas movie. In fact, it's not a Christmas movie at all. It's the fantasy movie poster course from Phase Runner. Learn how to design an epic cinematic poster using essential Photoshop tools and techniques. And most of all, learn how to edit the Phase Runner way. One hour should feel pretty cushy compared to the other two, but I'm interested to see how much it'll differ in terms of quality. Let's find out. For the third and final poster, we're going with the more recent classic Christmas movie, Elf. For this one, I've just got some nice layers of paper or card. First, I'm just gonna alter those colors, a nice light blue, and we'll drop this card asset on top, set that to color burn for some added texture. Next, I've got these arms which I'll cut out, flip the one on the left, and we're going to borrow these sleeves from this Santa stock image. And then I'll get rid of those hard edges using a fur brush. 
Now I want these sleeves to belong to Buddy the Elf, so we'll change the red to green. And we'll just slot the arm into position, doing the same on the other side. Then I'm just going to paint in some little shadows under the sleeve and under the arm so they look planted on the paper. Okay, cool. Now as a kid in school, around Christmas, we were always creating those paper snowflakes. I want to create a similar effect in Photoshop and there's a cool technique we can use. So I'll grab the brush tool and a hard brush, click on the butterfly icon and choose Mandala. And we'll change the point segment to five. And if we start painting, it creates this very cool mirrored effect. I'll mess around with this until I've got a couple of snowflakes to use. Next, I'm just going to resize and find the correct position for each of those. Now, I want these to look like they've been cut out of paper, so I'm just going to use various highlights and shadows to give the effect of folds. And paint in some shadows underneath. And do the same thing for the others. Now, along the same lines, we're going to create some cut out paper elves. I'm just using the polygonal lasso tool to create a simple shape. We'll mirror that. And I'll create a quick head. Use the pen tool to create a little hat. Some little ears. We're not doing too badly for time, but I definitely need to hustle. Cool, something like this. Move that into position so it looks like the hand is holding it. And we'll just create a duplicate and do the same on the other side. And I'll create some more folds. Just remove the section under the thumb. Okay, now for the tricky part. I've got Buddy the Elf here. I want him to be a part of this paper link that we've created with these elves. So I'm gonna have to get a bit funky with the legs, just alter those positions. Sorry, Will. Yeah, that's not a good look. Let's just alter that skirt section slightly. And there we go. Now for the arms. Now I'll just replace these sections I've cut out. Okay, how are we doing for time? Perfect, let's get him into position. And just add some shadows. Let's drop some scissors in the top left. And some Christmas labels, which we'll position in the top right. And one of the four main food groups, we've got some candy corns. For a bit more added color, I'll use this red cotton wheel. Let's add in a few paper cuttings. And this one's just about there to be honest, but I'm just going to crack on with the final polish and bring it over the line. I think this poster is a great example that with a clear concept, you don't need much time to execute it. Even though it's pretty simple, for one hour, I'm happy with it. Did you hear that? All in all, I think we did a pretty good job on these. I mentioned earlier that I would spend some time finishing the Home Alone piece, and this is what we got. And I made a few adjustments to the Christmas Vacation poster as well. If you've got a favorite, be sure to let me know in the comments. And for those of you who are interested in learning how to make a movie poster, check out the link in the description to my Photoshop course and use the coupon HOLIDAY23 to receive 15% off. So what is actually my all-time favorite Christmas movie? Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. Not a Christmas movie!